Hey, this is Charles Peachock from Audio Ape Remotes. Today we're going to talk about keyboard commands versus MIDI commands. Now, typically you use a keyboard to control an application like this using arrows and the space bar. And a lot of remotes send keyboard commands. We are the only remote that sends MIDI commands, and I'm going to show you why it's so powerful. So let's say you have the application QLab up here. If you see this in the corner, that means that application has focus and keystrokes go to that program. What happens if that program actually loses focus and you're say on Finder? Those keystrokes no longer get to your application. You can even be inside your application and somewhere else with this grayed out and it will not work. Uh, so keyboard commands are problematic because this app has to stay in focus and the focus has to be on the player area. So MIDI commands are so much more powerful because you can be anywhere on the playlist and you can send MIDI commands and they're going to get to your application. Even if this application isn't in focus, even if you're on another application, these MIDI commands will make it to QLab and that's what makes them so great. So MIDI commands way better, way more reliable than keystrokes. And Audio 8 Pro is the only remote to offer this feature. So let's look at how you map these MIDI commands. So under your workspace settings right here, you can actually see a section called MIDI controls. They have a whole section dedicated to controlling QLab with MIDI. Make sure to have this uh, use musical MIDI notes to control because that's what we're sending. And so all you have to do, and also you have to be on any channel here, uh, all you have to do is hit capture, then you click any button on a remote that's sending MIDI, and it'll capture the signal that you're sending. And you can do this for all the commands. And now you've mapped MIDI commands to these QLab commands. And your remote is sending these MIDI commands, so that's, that's great. And another thing, aside from mapping all the standard commands like this, you can also do hotkeys. So if you wanted to fire this key using a MIDI command, you would just go over here to capture and you would fire that button. And now that button is tied to this particular cue. So as you can see, MIDI commands, incredibly powerful and incredibly reliable. Thanks for watching. This is Audio Ape Remotes and we'll see you at showtime.